Today we're going to focus on how to format pages in Book Creator. This means how to make your pages look exactly like you want it to look. How to change the text, how to change the colors, how to change the sizes of everything. Today we'll talk about how, but first let's look at a few nonfiction and some fiction texts. Every author makes decisions about what they want their book to look like. You can see in this book, um, Frog and Toad Are Friends, the author chose to make their headings or their chapter titles green and then the rest of the text a different color. This really makes the chapter titles pop out. You can also see that the author chose to have some pages with no pictures and then some pages that have pictures. In this nonfiction text about pyramids, you can see that the author made a similar choice. The heading, Great Pyramids, is one font and then the main body text is another font. You can even see that the heading is bigger and in a different color to make it exciting to read. Also, if you look down at the bottom, you can see a caption underneath this picture. The pyramids in Giza, Egypt were built 4,500 years ago. Even the caption is written in a different text and it has a background so that you can notice it. In this nonfiction text, it's kind of special because not only do they have headings for each um, section of the book, and each heading is the same font. Notice this, this heading, Counting on Change, is the same font, size, and color as this heading, World of Nature. But some of the headings are a different font. These ones happen to be subheadings, but you can make your headings look any way you want them to. They could be the same on every page or different on every page. I also see bold text, which is telling me that this is an important word to pay attention to. Now let's see how we can do this with our own books using Book Creator. You could do it any way you wanted if you're writing a paper book, but on Book Creator, there are a few different ways to try it out. When I'm in my book in Book Creator, I can change the font. I can click on the text that I want to change and then click the I at the top of the screen. Here you can see now I have many options. I could change the size using the minus and plus buttons. I could also just drag this little dot and make it bigger or smaller exactly how I want it to. I can change where my text is in the text box. It could be in the middle, on the right side, or on the left side. I can make it bold, thicker. I can make it italics, um, italicized or a little slanted, or I could underline it. I could change the font by clicking the font button and I could change the color of the text and the color of the background of the text box. I can make it whatever I want to make it. I think I'll make my background yellow and my text red, the colors of the Vietnamese flag. I could also change the background of the page. I can do this by clicking on the page and then clicking I so that none of my text boxes or pictures are selected. Or even when I've selected a text box, I can click on this page button and I can change what the background looks like. It could be black. I could use a comic background. I could use a border. I could use a pattern. I could also use a texture. Oops, that's patterns again. Now that my page looks exactly like I want it to look, I can go on to the next page and I can test it out. I've already formatted this page, but maybe I'll decide to change the main body text. My heading, I made the same font as um, the text of my title, Libre Baskerville, but I could do whatever I want for the main body font, or I could um, have all the fonts different. It's up to you. You probably want to choose a font that's easy to read. If I choose this font, it might be a little bit hard for people to read. But this font I can read, and I think this font everybody could read too. I'll, I'll choose um, that font. Now I'll go on to my next page, and I could change the fonts if I wanted to again. Maybe I'll make all my headings the same font. And I could even make it the same size. And bold. I can drag my text boxes to make them bigger or smaller. Maybe all my text boxes can be um, 
maybe it'll be yellow in the background. Oh, if all my headings are yellow in the background, that would be really easy for all my readers to find them. Now, if I go to the next page, I could click on my heading, I could spread it out. I could make my yellow background and then my readers will know that this is the heading. Now I might want to change the background of this. Maybe I'll make all my main text just blank in the background. Background That's why it's really easy to read. I could make my did you knows, my fun facts, even my captions could have a different color or font. It's up to you. I can't wait to see what you'll create with your own ebooks. Happy formatting!